Hey, what's going on, everybody? What's going on? It's your boy Derek Casey coming to you live from Dallas, Texas. I'm just pulling into our local grocery store, man. I'm about to go and grab some things. But before I went in, I just had to come and talk about this uh, because this pandemic is no joke, man. Like a lot of people taking this thing for granted, but this pandemic is really not a joke. And I really heard something the other day. My uh, daughter's teacher came to our home to visit with my daughter and everything, man. And she has said something that truly broke my heart, man. Like it, it just really, it really opened my eyes to like really get out here and helping people, man, during this pandemic. So we're gonna let Facebook do its thing. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dive into it real quick. I got about 6% on my battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this out. But I really wanted to talk to y'all about this because this is something that like, my man, like this really broke me down, man. Like, so, <clears throat> So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So anyway, so my uh, my daughter's teacher came over uh, to kind of go through some things. Uh, me and my wife, we had decided to do the first three weeks uh, with our children virtually for school. Uh, what we've been finding is that, you know, with them being in a home setting, it just doesn't work for them because like they are, you know, up moving around in the kitchen, getting snacks when they're supposed to be paying attention. So we decided that after three weeks, they're gonna physically go back to school. The school sent us some videos to show them, to show us the protocol of how they do things, how they're social distancing and all of those things. So anyways, while the teacher was at the house, she was like, you know, it, it, she's like this, this whole pandemic, she's like, I wish the kids could all come back to school. She was like, because parents are struggling right now. She said, there are a couple of kids in my class that when I get on, on the, the um, Zoom call virtually with them, they are home by themselves. Single mothers, man, that don't have no choice but to work. They have to choose between working and being home with their babies just so they can keep a roof over their head. So much so that they have to choose a job because that's the only way that they bring in money and their babies are sitting at home by themselves. She was telling us that there's a high schooler with two little ones, they all doing it virtually. Parents work, they work from morning until night just so they can provide for their family. So just imagine a high schooler trying to do school virtually while trying to man two kids and keep them, you know, keep them focused on what they're doing. This pandemic ain't no joke. So when I come on here, man, and I be sharing, you know, information with you guys and videos about starting a home-based business, um, like it's real, guys. It's real because that's not fair to a single mother that have to choose between her children and her job. You know what I'm saying? The fact that she just leave the kids at home. And the thing is, the teacher don't want to say nothing. She just want to get the kids back in school so that way they can be protected. But just imagine right now with your children and now you're forced to have to go into work and your kids are doing school virtually. What would you do? Because childcare is super expensive right now. You know what I'm saying? People might not be able to afford a nanny, like a, a nanny to come in and take care of the babies while they go to work. So what are you supposed to do? How are you supposed to generate the additional money that's needed to help offset those type of things happening? Whether you can, you know, make enough money for you to be able to work from home or make the additional money that's needed so you can pay for an adult to be with your babies because anything can happen. I could not imagine leaving my children at home by themselves, trying to go to school and do that by themselves without having a parent or an adult there with them. So I'm just trying to tell y'all, man, this pain, stop playing. Stop playing with this and start paying attention to taking action. Yeah, it may be tough in the beginning, guys. I promise. It may be tough when you look at investing into something or whatever the case. But guys, I'm telling you, it's worth it. It is worth it. More people need more time with their families, man. Like, man, that broke my heart. That broke my heart to know that there's a single mother that, like, she, I guess she works, like, overnights. So she comes in, like, in the morning. So she's working overnights while the babies are sleeping to, just so she can make a paycheck, come home, and then still have to man the kids all by herself. The parents that got to go to work and leave the, the older kid home with the kids to man them while they working virtually. Guys, you got to wake up. You got to wake up. This pandemic is not a joke. It's not a joke. 
And when we're talking about starting your own home-based business, it's not the fact of living a lavish lifestyle. It's no longer a necessity, right? I mean, a luxury to have a home-based business. It's a necessity. It's a necessity, guys. And if you guys need any help, man, listen, I'm telling you right now, if you're struggling financially and you like your job is the only thing you have a hold to, guys, come get with me. I will help, I will do everything in my power to help you guys get there because I understand the struggle, man. Like for real. God has blessed me and my family tremendously. So all I'm worried about is being able to go out and help somebody else, help economically empower somebody else so that way another single mother don't have to leave her babies at home to go to school virtually by themselves. You know, the parents afraid to lose their home got to be forced to be in a job just so they can take care of their family. I want to be able to pull people together to get over that because, man, this is crazy, man. This is crazy. Never seen anything like this happen ever in my life. And now I'm in position to be able to help people. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So if you guys are out there struggling, living paycheck to paycheck, just trying to keep afloat, man, just to take care of your babies, man, come get with me. We gonna work it out. We will find a way to help you get your investment that's needed to get you started. Come work with me. Give me 90 days of your undivided attention so that way I can help you get the additional money that's needed so you can go out there and you can pay for a person to come to your home and be with your babies while you work and you can be comfortable. You know what I'm saying? You can make enough money where you ain't gotta be stressing about your bills, you know, things like that while you're working. Come get with me. Come get with me. For real, for real, because like I said, this pandemic is no joke, all right? So with that being said, let me get my buddy here to the store, man. I just, oh, man, I just, that really touched my heart, man. Like, when that teacher told me that, I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, man, God, like, how can I help? Like, what can I, like, what more can I do to get out here and help more people? And that's exactly what I'm going to do, guys. I'm definitely going to do I'm going to be working my ass off to put people into in position so they don't have to be stressing like that. So, I hope you guys pay attention to this message. I know a lot of y'all don't know me from, from a doorknob, but get to know me. You understand my heart. I'm a man of God. And when God bless me, man, I'm trying to bless other people. And that is really what I'm here for. So if you need help, come get with me, all right? Don't hesitate to get in my inbox. Hit me up. If you need my direct phone number, I will give it to you. Hit me up. Because I promise you, if you give me 90 days of your undivided attention and let me show you how to really get on here and do some things, I can truly help you guys out, all right? So with that being said, guys, thank you so much. God bless. Love y'all. I'll holler at y'all soon.